Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 5th of May. Feels good out there. You know, that hot, sticky summer stuff will be here soon enough. So having a day like today, at least in my opinion, is just fantastic. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, coming from Trustful, some high cirrus clouds easing in here today, but those don't produce rain. Those are about 20,000 feet up. Ice crystals down below that. The air dries a bone. There's the uh, Trustville Sky I'm sorry, the Guin Sky Cam up in uh, Marion County in northwest Alabama. Same sky there, just beautiful. Uh, blue sky with those cirrus clouds. And look at that shot. That's great. Demopolis down in Marengo County, looking right down the Tom Bigby River. Up on the uh, water vapor satellite shot, got a pretty good shortwave northwest of the state. And uh, there's no moisture, so that's not going to do much but produce a few scattered clouds uh, tonight and tomorrow. Any rain would be north and east of here. And even there, not much. Of course, got the deep upper low over New England. Temperatures a little cooler than forecast. Uh, we figured we'd be up there close to 70 today. Alexander City is at 72, but uh, Birmingham sitting at only 65. Tuscaloosa, 67. Anniston, 69. Those are at 2 o'clock. And around the nation, let me tell you what, it's uh, pretty cool and pretty stable. So when you see a map like that, you know there's no severe weather issues. In fact, at uh, uh, 2 o'clock, temperatures are only in the 40s around Duluth, Minnesota. And, of course, with a cool, stable air mass, you don't have a lot of watches and warnings. And look at that. Goodness. Uh, three counties in the whole country under some kind of advisory. One county in Idaho with a wind advisory and two in the northern tip of Maine with a flood watch. And even I'm not so sure those are still valid. So uh, that is a remarkable map for early May. And, of course, uh, rain not happening here for the next five days. This valid through uh, Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock. So let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You can see the energy uh, northeast of the state. That short wave is passing north of us. And again, you might see a few uh, scattered clouds, but uh, uh, no rain. Maybe some scattered uh, light rain north and east of here. And we warm up a little bit. High should be in the uh, mid to upper 70s tomorrow. Saturday, severe clear. Low 80s are likely. And the latest guidance coming in with lower dew points. You know, we talked about the weekend being more humid. I, I don't know. The, the dew points are showing up only in the 40s here, so that'll be a very comfortable day. And Sunday, I do think the dew points come up thin. Uh, Sunday, we should be up in the uh, mid-80s, uh, becoming more humid. And then uh, Monday of next week, upper 80s, maybe flirting with 90 is the upper ridge takes over. In fact, look at Tuesday. There's the uh, uh, upper ridge. Got a huge trough out west, strong ridge across the east. Very high amplitude pattern, but uh, we're in the ridge, so uh, warm and dry. The GFS is showing a high of 90 on Tuesday. And Wednesday should be no different. And, of course, uh, underneath that uh, will be dry. And a week from today, still no rain. So most all of next week is looking uh, uh, dry. We'll go out there a few more days, though. Looky here. Goodness gracious. That thing uh, is pretty remarkable. It's an omega block. This big upper low uh, well west of San Francisco, big upper low over West Virginia, this big ridge in between there. And uh, if that happens to be correct, it'll be cool here at mid-month. Now, there's been excellent consistency in the GFS in showing this. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It's still out there, you know, in the land of voodoo beyond seven days. But, uh, boy, that would be a pretty uh, cool period if that's right. And then on the uh, 21st, the everything breaks down uh, uh, light northerly flow aloft, and again, that looks awfully quiet. So still, the screaming message, no severe weather for the next 15 days. Uh, awfully warm next week, in fact, hot really, but then we might cool down out there by mid-month significantly. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Never witness anything like this, and I hope we never do again. People are coming in to help them. Uh, that's what Alabama's all about. It's almost as if a bomb went off. My baby's alive. My husband's alive. We made it. I'm demolished. I don't have nothing. It's just chaos, really. It's just a nightmare that I know that I cannot wake up from. God can do with it as He will.